Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to do this really cool building reveal. The link for these two shots will be in the description if you want to download them and give this a go yourself then uh, the link will be there. So the main key to this is for your um, wide shot to be shot on a tripod so it's nice and still and it holds for a good few seconds. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this tower appear right here in the in the middle of this shot. The first thing you want to do is select your building shot and add a keyer. So if you go to effects, uh, keying, keyer, and you want to go to sample color. And the key to this is you want to select as much as as much as you can. And that will give the best effect. And then you just want to tweak it until you've got a really nice image of your building without any of the other um, parts in shot. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And once you've done that, you want to bring your shot over your tripod shot. So the start of the clip, you want that to uh, start wherever you want it to fade on. So as my shot stops, I'm gonna, I want to fade it on there. And now we're just going to use the transform tool to resize it and put it in place. Okay, so you see how you got this sharp edge here and it kind of, it just doesn't look realistic. What we're going to do is add a mask. We're going to add a mask to the bottom just to feather it a little bit and uh, kind of make it look like it's coming from the ground. Okay, so the colors look a bit off on the tower and the wide shot. So what I'm going to do is just bring up my color correction tab using command 6 and I'm just going to bring down the bring up the exposure a little bit I'm going to make it quite washed out so that it looks like it's kind of in the distance just like that now what you want to do is you want to make the fade on effect so the easy way to do this is to use a preset um, luma fade and that will fade it on if you get rid of the 3D effect. So yeah, that's an easy way to fade it on. Or what I think looks better is if you actually use um, the Luma key effect. So what you want to do is just drag that on. And go over here to the sliders and just slide them all the way to the left. hit the keyframe button and then scroll along and then just slide the sliders back to where back until you can see the tower so that's going to give you that fade on effect that looks really cool and so yeah you can these sliders you can start them the other way and it will just change the effect a little bit. Let's have a look. So yeah, depending on which way you start the sliders, um, it will either fade on the whites first or the blacks first. And I think I prefer, prefer, yeah, that looks cool. Okay, so now we've got the fade on effect done. The next step is to select both of these and you just want to turn it into a compound clip. And now what you should have is that. Next step is to add a bit of movement and you just want to go to the effects and we're going to search for the handheld effect and you just want to drag that on. 
and now this is going to make it look like it was filmed handheld. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. So what I also did to the uh, short edit at the beginning was add in some clouds behind the sky and in front of the tower as well, just to kind of make it a little bit more realistic. So what I did for that was I used a shot like this. All you want to do is kind of separate the clouds from the blue and you just want the clouds on their own. So what I did was add a Kia and that's just going to take out the blue. And what you want to do, you want to put those clouds inside the compound clip and just put them right over the top of your um, of your shot and then I'm going to add a mask so I just want these clouds to show up sort of just really lightly at the top of the shot so I'm going to use this mask and just uh, put a nice big fade on it and I'm going to fade those on as the tower comes on so they kind of gradually fade out fade in and I'm going to turn the opacity down on that so this is how it's looking right now pretty good. So for the color correction and cinematic bars I'm going to add an adjustment layer over the top. And the LUT I'm going to use is the orange dolphin. I put, I've got a uh, free download link for this LUT if you want to check that out in one of my older videos. So let's see how that looks. Cool, so that's looking pretty uh, pretty good. And so the, the sound effect I used for the um, tower fading on was just one of Final Cut Pro's sound effects. And it was the whoosh one. And all I did was just put that underneath there as the tower's fading on. You can also um, get away with retiming these a little bit. So if you select the audio clip and hold com Command R, then you can actually slow them down so it lasts, so it fits the shot a little bit better. So you can see there's like a, a sun reflection from the original tower shot. and what you can do to make it look a little bit more realistic is you can add in the Nova effect. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scale this up and I'm going to turn it into screen mode in the blend mode. And then I'm just going to move it out of here so it gives a slight sun glow effect from the side just a little subtle um, thing you can do to make it a little, a little bit better so yeah that's the effect the links for the uh, to these two shots will be in the description if you want to download them and give it a go yourself hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one do you even miss me sometimes?